Hi friend, are you writing a memoir and are you having a hard time explaining what it's about to other people? If so, you're not alone, but this video is for you, so keep watching. My name is Kelly Notaris. I'm the founder of KN Literary Arts. We are your one-stop shop, helping you get from wherever you are to having a book in your hand. So please visit us at knliterary.com. I'm also a book editor in the U.S. publishing business for over 20 years, and I bring all of that wisdom to this YouTube channel for free. So please click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon. That way you will never miss a video. So if you're one of those people who's writing a memoir and you have so many different interesting stories you wanna pack in there, but you don't know how to talk about it because they're kind of different from one another and varied, then this video is for you. Because I wanna to talk to you about what is truly the most important thing you can do as you're preparing to write and then publish your memoir. And that is to pick a specific narrative element that you are going to focus on when you talk about your book. So every one of us has had multiple different experiences, but if you want to talk about every single one of those, every time someone asks you what your book is about, people are going to get bored. They're going to get frustrated. They're not going to really understand why they should buy your book. So for example, if you say, my book is about how I grew up on a farm and then I went to college and studied medicine, but then halfway through, I realized actually what I want to be was an actress. So I dropped out of school and moved to LA. And then I ended up on, you know, the big screen in a small role, but I ended up falling in love with one of the leads. And so I had this affair with a major movie star for three years that nobody knew about. And then after that, I moved back to the rural town. You just see what I'm saying? Like, Interesting story. I'd want to read that, but it's just too much for the pitch. It's too much for the hook. It's too much for the positioning statement, however you want to talk about that. So instead, let's just make something up for that particular story. Actually, probably the thing that's most interesting to most people is the fact that you were a, an actress who ended up having an affair with a major movie star, okay? So you might say, I'm writing a book about that time when I was a an extra on a set of a major movie and I fell in love with the movie star and ended up having an affair with him for three years. Okay. Now there's a lot of other things there. I love the aspect of the fact that you grew up in a completely different environment and maybe there's like a fish out of water vibe of you moving to LA and you know, maybe you actually had a child with this person and that child had special needs. And so that's going to be part of it too, right? All of those things are going to be in the, not in the, the memoir. Hear me say novel, because really you're writing a novel out of your own life when you're writing a memoir. So they're all going to be in that narrative. But the thing you're going to talk about is the thing that's most interesting to most people. Okay, so a lot of different scenes, but only one theme. That theme in the, the example I just gave you was the theme of moving to LA and falling in love with a movie star. Okay, even though a lot of other things are going to go into it. So I want to talk to you. I'm going to actually read you some hooks of popular books that are doing really well. In fact, they are are on the New York Times bestseller list when I'm doing this video or have been on that list recently, just to give you a sense of what I'm talking about when I say choose one narrative element. And the narrative element might be an inner element. It might be an inner journey you took, or it might be an external journey. So in the example of the girl moving to LA, that's an external journey that she's using as her narrative hook. But I'm going to read you a couple that might be a little different. Okay. So the first one is also an external journey. The book is called The Glass Castle. I don't know how many of you have read that book. It's an excellent memoir, probably one of the most popular memoirs of the last two decades. Definitely worth reading if you are writing a memoir, especially if you were, are writing about your difficult childhood, because that's what this is about. The New York Times always takes every book that they have on their list and they just really boil it down to one line i.e. that narrative hook or theme that they think is going to make it most appealing to most people. And this is what they decided to talk about with The Glass Castle, which is the story of a woman who grew up in a very difficult family. The author recalls how she and her siblings were constantly moved from one bleak place to another. That's it. Okay, so, but that gives you a lot of flavor. If you like that kind of what we call train wreck memoir, then this is gonna appeal to you. You're a yes to reading this, okay? 
Now, it doesn't explain that the author was actually a very um, successful journalist when she wrote this book. It doesn't explain that, you know, her parents were homeless in New York City and she had to like see them on the street while she was working, which is true. Like it doesn't go into all those different details. It just says the author recalls how she and her siblings were constantly moved from one bleak place to another. Okay. So just to give you a sense, you might think, but I don't want to boil my whole story down to that. Here's what I have to say. If you want to sell copies, you got to boil it down. You've got to make that hook very specific and make it of great interest to a lot of people. And so make it specific and you can put whatever else you want in that book. But the hook needs to be specific. Okay. It's not a series of all these different things that happen. That's what I'm trying to get you away from. And that's what I see far too often with our clients who are writing memoir. Okay, I'm gonna try another one. This book is called Crying in H Mart. It's another memoir, it's on the bestseller list right now. The daughter of a Korean mother and a Jewish American father and leader of the indie rock project Japanese Breakfast describes creating her own identity after losing her mother to cancer. Okay, so the theme or the hook is really creating her own identity. It's almost an inner thing, right? Instead, and it, I mean, it, it is, has some external elements too, like her mother dying of cancer and the fact who she is now. I mean, if you have some sort of a platform or you are someone kind of famous, of course, that should go in your hook. But most of the people I work with are not. So there's not going to be that same piece where it talks about the leader of the indie rock project, Japanese Breakfast, which is sort of a well-known thing. Um, but the daughter of a Korean mother and Jewish American father right there, it's like, okay, so we're, we're getting a sense that this is going to be some sort of a memoir about the, her parentage and how she brought those two identities together, describes creating her own identity after losing her mother to cancer. Okay. So it doesn't talk. We don't know anything except for that her mother died of cancer. We don't know any elements, any of the external events that we're going to hear about, except that her mother died of cancer. And that is fine. We get enough information to pique our interest and to know, oh, I'm somebody who maybe has multiple identities in my lineage. This would be something that would be of interest to me. Right. So you're giving just the most salient hooks and just a couple of them you have to choose that are going to bring people through the door. Okay, so I'm actually going to talk about um, a couple of my own. <laughs> if let, I've never written a memoir, but let's just say I was going to write a memoir. There are a lot of, I've lived, I'm 47 years old. I've lived a lot of different experiences. Um, and probably I would put elements of everything from my childhood to my education, to my time in my 20s working in New York publishing, to moving to a different state, you know, and moving on with my life and, and starting a business. I mean, all of that's going to go in any book that I write, any memoir I write, it's going to have all those things. But I decided to pick a couple different narrative themes that I might just orient the book around that I might use as my hook because I think that they would be interesting to a number of people. So let me give you an example. So one possible memoir I might write would be the author tells tales of her time in the New York publishing industry and how she took a leap to start her own company. Now, I would still include all sorts of things in there about my family and about my you know partners over the years and maybe my current life, whatever it might be. But the theme or the focus that I'm using to market the book is very specifically about people who would be interested in publishing and or jumping ship and starting their own company, okay? Another way I might talk about my life would be to say, the author recounts being a fish out of water after moving from New York City to a small town and what it taught her about herself. Okay, so again, I'm not telling you any of the events that I'm going to tell you about. I'm not talking about, you know, I don't even really tell you that I'm in publishing, for example, or that I start my own business or that my partner died in when I was in my early 40s, like things that actually happened to me, I'm going to put in that book, but you don't know about that from the hook and that's okay. I chose a hook that I thought would be of interest. A lot of people like that fish out of water story. Okay, and then the third, a third one, I could have written 20, but a third one that might work for my, my story would be the author recalls her relationship with her partner and how their relationship went deeper after he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Okay, so that would be sort of the sad version, <laughs> um, but really a very, very important part of my life and a hook that a lot of people have told me over the years they would love for me to write about. But I would, of course, still include all the other things about how I was in the New York publishing business and how I moved to a different state and how I was a bit of a fish out of water and all of those things would go into it. But I've just chosen to pivot the story on that one hook or that one concept, that one theme. Okay, and for me, it was both an inner and an outer theme. 
All right. So I hope that this has helped you to understand that your book is about all the different aspects of your life, but your hook chooses the one thing that's most interesting to most people that's likely to sell the most books. So I hope this helps you. Please let us know below what's the hook to your book. <laughs> what are the multiple different hooks you could make? And also, you know, are you maybe going to write multiple memoirs? Because of course you could write about different aspects of your life that happened at different eras or different events that happened. And there are plenty of memoir, memoir writers out there who've written multiple memoirs and why not have you be one of them? So I hope this is encouraging to you and it's helpful to you. And of course, please visit us at knliterary.com if you'd like to work one-on-one -on -one with an editor or a book coach to help you get your hook for your memoir dialed in. All right. With that, I say best to you and happy writing.